What's up guys? So I recently decided to go ahead and share my method of stalling with the world. Some of you may know by now um, that my method for stalling is a bit unconventional. Uh, what I do, I put my keyboard on the ground and I bind air roll left, air steer right, and jump to spacebar. And through doing that, I can use my toe to press spacebar to stall automatically. Now the reason that you would want to do that as opposed to stalling with controller is that with controller, you have to have either a high dead zone or very accurate thumbs to move your um, stick in exactly the correct direction to then also be pressing your directional air roll button and jump at the same time to stall. With this, you just have to press one button and you stall every time so long as you're not moving your stick or air rolling the other way while you press the button. So it's a whole lot easier, but you have to, you know, be able to press a button on the keyboard while using your controller and I decided to do that by using my toe. You could use your elbow, you could use your hand if in a weird position or whatever. So for some reason that just absolutely blew up on Twitter and got over 2200 likes, almost 90,000 views. So yeah, I did pretty well, you could say. Uh, shockingly, one of the first people to comment on the video was Sunless Khan, uh, also shortly followed by Waitin, and they actually both DM'd me, which was absolutely shocking. Um, I got the message from Sunless Khan maybe a day or two after the clip uh, was originally posted, and uh, he hit me up and he said, yo, I gotta showcase your toe game, would you be down to be in a video? I read this when I was at work, and I was just, I, I couldn't believe it. Like, if, so first he followed me, and I was like, oh my god, dude, Sunless Khan just followed me. Like, no fucking way. Like, told all my friends about it and stuff. And then I get this DM, he's like, asks me to do a video. I'm like, what on earth? Like, this cannot be real. Like, how is this happening? Like, it was just such a... I just couldn't believe it. Like, it was just... Because, I mean, I've been watching Sunless Khan for... Three, almost almost four years. Like, ever since I started playing a game. And, like, he's my favorite Rocket League YouTuber. Um, that's not, like, a player. Like, a, a Vample or Mesco or something. Like, I, I love all of his videos. I watch all of his videos, like, as soon as they come out, pretty much. And I've always thought, man, like... It would be so cool to... Like, either to be a part of, like, that you know, larger community of Rocket League or to be in a video or like I've always wanted to be in like a musty video or waiting video or a sunless video, just even like as a like an extra in the background kinda like doing a some part of a challenge or something. Like I thought that would be so cool. And then Sunless Khan hits me up and asks me to be in a video showcasing something that I do. Like a video about me? Like, not, I'm in a video, like, I'm the focus of the video, like, are you fucking, <laughs> like, are you kidding? Um, so yeah, I literally just started freaking out, like, I started, I literally just started crying, like, I cannot believe that, like, you know, all, all of my time, all my thousands of hours I spent playing the game, trying to think of creative things to do. Like, cause, cause that's like my, my, my passion in the game is trying to create, like, think of the most creative things I can possibly think of, and then trying things until I get something to work out. Like, th this was a bit different, cause, you know, my, my Stable Feller stuff is just, like, really difficult or unique mechanics or combination of mechanics and stuff like that. This is a bit different, cause it was kind of, you know, more silly, but it's still in line with my whole theme of just trying to do unique stuff and do things differently and think outside the box. And the fact that that, thought process about trying to push the boundaries and you know find the limitations in the game and stuff like that the fact that that led to sunless con asking me to do a video after all these years i just i mean it's just like unfathomable like i still just i can't believe i just can't believe that it actually happened it's just crazy but yeah um that was the kind of process behind that and then yeah so he asked me if I wanted to do a video, I was like, yes, absolutely, like, please. And uh, so, yeah, we recorded on the 7th of August. I'll show some clips um, from that that you won't see in the actual video. But, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and just do that right now. Here we fucking go, baby. What's up? Hey, what's up, man? 
Yeah. It's, it's, sleep is a big part of my life. Yeah, for sure. It makes me different than most gamers. It's just like, I just need it. I need my hours. Yeah. I always like that. That's crazy. But, yeah. Of your life, you spend sleeping. Like yeah, that, is, that part is crazy. It's like a huge waste of time. Yeah. But, well, <laughs> I mean, it feels like that, but if for me, it's like... like cars or I know. I know. I feel like if there's advancements in like biotech, that would be a huge one. Like being able to recover without That'd spending so much time. Make How do you say your name? Is it Javion or or uh, Javanon? Javanon. I was yeah. like, is it Javanon or Javanon? Well, well, fun fact: my real life name is also Jared. Oh really? Yeah. J A R E D. Yeah. The correct spelling. Nice. Yeah, it's so superior to the so J. I, I don't even understand how, like... It's, it's the most so logical spelling. spelling. We have the most logical spelling. For real. Like, I, you see the J-A-R-R-O-D, like, Gerard. So people are like, is that J-E-R-A-D? I'm like, dude, <laughs> no. I guess I'll just... Yeah, I guess I'll just start recording. I was thinking we'd, we'd, like, we'll just chat for a bit, like, in this. Like, just with the cars in the background. Um, because I just... That's good for, like, B-roll. Um, and then we'll, we'll like go into a private match. You can demonstrate. We could do some stalls and stuff, okay. or we could just dick around basically. Sounds good. And then I was thinking we could end it by playing twos. Um, but before I graduated, like a year ago, I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna grind rocket and go crazy, become a content creator, just trying to see if I can get a following. Really? Yeah. And then I got a girlfriend. And Way less time to play. <laughs> I know, I'm not grinding as much so, as too, but like, if so I could funny. do anything, I would, I would be a, a YouTube content creator for Rocket League. Like that, that's like my dream job. That instead of doing a control systems job, which pays really well, that's, that's fine. But definitely not my, uh, definitely not the thing I'm most passionate about. I guess like I fucking, I, I love Rocket League and YouTube and stuff. Wait, do you think you could? Uh, so, do you still have that dream? Do you think you could still do it? I, I mean, if I had the opportunity to, and like I got any kind of following and I had like a reason to grind content, I, I definitely would try. But it's a, it's a lot harder now that I'm working full time. But like, I yeah. would still give it a shot if I had the opportunity. I think it would be so much fun. All right, so we recorded for about an hour and a half. So I mean, I could put another, you know, 30 minutes of random conversations that we had, but that's not really the point of this video. It's more about like kind of what led up to us recording and then showing you a little bit of behind the scenes about what it's like to actually join a call and start talking. Uh, Sondos is a really cool dude. Uh, we had a really good time, or at least I mean I did. I, I think he did too. He was super nice, super easygoing, really easy to talk to. We had some cool conversations about a bunch of random stuff. Um, yeah, it was just a great experience. There was one thing that I really wish he did include in the video that he didn't, which was, so he, he left in the whole conversation about us talking about wall dashing, but then he didn't include any of the clips in me wall dashing in a private match after that. Uh, and I saw some comments saying that they wished that uh, they could have seen how I do that. So I just figured I'd go ahead and include a couple of clips. Uh, one showing how I do it, and then another that's my longest chain wall dash. So yeah, that's about it for me. Um, most of the rest of the action worth checking out is actually in his video. The rest of it is just us talking about random stuff, uh, me messing up shots, you know, the usual. Um, but yeah, thank you so much to Sunless Con. This is like truly an amazing experience, something I'll never forget. Uh, just uh, unbelievable, really unbelievable that this happened to somebody like me. And I just impossible to put into words what it means to me so um yeah if you watch this whole thing thank you so much for watching uh also make sure to subscribe uh i'm trying to be the first rocket league youtuber to 10 million subscribers and uh we're almost there so if you could just press the subscribe button drop a like on this video and share it with your friends i'd really appreciate it thanks for watching